If you are gripping the bar like this when you're doing pull-ups, stay tuned my friend because I'm going to show you why you shouldn't be doing it and what you should be doing instead. Crew members! Welcome back to the channel my friends. How are you doing today? If this is your first time here on this channel though, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications ding, ding, ding. because if you're new to body training calisthenics, this is your home of body strength training so make sure you hit that button and turn on that bell. Right, so the mistake that people typically make, which is literally the mistake I made with pull-ups, is how you grip the bar. So the two biggest mistakes that people make is that their thumb will either be over the bar rather than under the bar, and also, which is the subtle difference which most people, again, myself included in the past, do, is that instead of actually creating stability, which I'll talk about later, is that you'll literally just leave your thumb like this on the side. So the problem with this, with either, you know, your thumbs being over the bar or being under without stability is that you know you can't really maximize the torque in your shoulders and so basically when you cannot maximize the torque on the bar less stability basically means you cannot actually maximize your strength output in the exercise so now i'm going to show you the fix so that you can generate more torque and stability in the shoulders to maximize your strength output. So usually, in terms of gripping the bar, it can be about shoulder width apart or just outside shoulder width apart. Depending on your genetics, your arm length, or basically whatever works best for you. <laughs> Typically, I like to use shoulder width apart. And so what you wanna do, instead of having your thumb over the bar or just kind of roaming freely under the bar, you want to wrap your thumb over, over your first finger, I don't actually, I've forgotten what this finger's called, or your middle finger. Index finger, that's what it's called, index finger. You either want to wrap it around your index finger or your middle finger. And at the same time, you want to get your pinky over the bar. You don't want to hang from your fingertips like this, because again, you're just going to inhibit the amount of strength you can produce in your pull-ups. So again, you want to really get your hand over the bar, pinky over the bar, and wrap your thumb over your index finger or your middle finger. So let me demonstrate. So what this is going to do is that's going to increase your ability to create torque in the shoulders. And so as a result, you're going to be able to create more stability to not only keep your shoulders in a stronger position, but to also keep your rib cage down. So when you add the two together, you're going to be able to get more reps, build more strength and muscle, depending on whatever pulling variation you're doing. So pay close attention to my grip. And when you try this yourself, you'll find that you are way stronger to attack the bar because of all the reasons I've just highlighted. And so yeah, try this out yourself and don't just try it with pull-ups also when you're doing your rows and other variations where you have to grip the bar. Trust me, try it yourself, see what you think and then comment down below. I can guarantee you, you will see a fairly significant difference and increase in strength to maximize your performance. And so with that said, if you enjoyed this video, you found this video helpful, you watch this video and be like, damn, I'm really liking these quick tip videos, Jake. Make sure to like the video and comment down below that this video came good hands you. And so, as that was enough for me today, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day, friend, and as a crew member of the Gainstrain Express, keep moving forward.